Welcome back, Clasties. Misty here with your next brief. And we are once again on that side of the foundation. Seriously, this SCP is just straight up weird. SCP-039. Also known as the Proboscis Engineers. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-039 are to be contained in Site-77's Wilderness Observation Chamber 2B. At least two security personnel are to monitor the interior and exterior of 039's chambers and are to rotate every six hours. Staff members may not access 039's chamber without an accompanying escort from Site Security, and they only do so for research purposes or for the examination of the chamber. For containment, sabotage, or contraband, which is to occur weekly. As of, nine, eight, as of September 18, 2000, SCP-039-8 has become pregnant. Responsibility for its containment has been reassigned to personnel in the Veterinary Observation Wing. Description: SCP-039 consists of 23 instances of Nasalis larvatus, or proboscis monkey, who have been subject to radical anatomical changes. The eyes and mouths of SCP-039 are absent, leaving the face bare save for the nose and its accompanying nasal passages. Instances of SCP-039 possess acute auditory and tactile senses to compensate for the lack of eyes, relying mostly on physical contact with objects to perceive them, and on loud nasal snorts as a sort of echolocation to help them navigate in their environment. The cropsies have also revealed the digestive system to be absent. How instances of 039 obtain nutrition, or alternatively, how they survive without it, is still a subject of research. Instances of 039 display signs of sapience, examples of which include communication via nasal snorts, an understanding of spoken English, and a complex understanding of machinery. Adult instances have demonstrated the ability to operate mechanical tools and possess the ability to repair and manufacture various pieces of technology, such as disassembling and reassembling an internal combustion engine and efficiently wiring a small apartment room. Testing has shown that 039 appeared to work more efficiently individually rather than groups, as instances of 039 will often become distracted by one another. Occasionally when working, instances of SCP-039 will clutch their abdomens and emit distressed vocalizations. If food is nearby, they will attempt to smear their faces with the substance. It is currently hypothesized that this indicates that 039 is the result of an artificial manipulation of normal specimens, with documents recovered during containment supporting this hypothesis. 039 are capable of reproduction and gestation, not unlike Nasalis larvatus. As of the time of this writing, five instances of 039 have been born. 039 show a very close bond among their species, with newborns being cared for by all capable adults. New instances are born with anatomical anomalies similar to other instances of 039, but lack the knowledge of other instances. Parent instances will educate newborns on communication and basic skills until they reach the age of six months, at which point technological ability will be taught by other adult instances. SCP-039 were recovered from an uninhabited research facility 50 kilometers from the nearby town of Nevada. Documents recovered during containment placed ownership of the facility under a company funding research for the advancement of natural human ability. Twenty instances of SCP-039 had been apparently living in and maintaining the facility for an unknown period of time. Additional recovered documents indicate that a project was being conducted to augment human intelligence. This project appears to have been cancelled shortly before the company's collapse, but the assets sold to an unnamed group. Further research into and the groups that acquired its assets has revealed similar anomalous objects, including SCP-1513. Addendum 039A One additional instance of SCP-039 was discovered during containment operations of SCP-1328. Agents are currently following up on any reports, including the indicating the existence of further instances outside of containment. Addendum 039-B Several documents recovered during initial containment appear to notate the early prototype staging of 039's development. Research has begun to develop a way to recreate the process that creates new SCP-039 instances. However, the damage 
the notes have accumulated prior to containment have rendered many of them unreadable. I wish I could say this was the weirdest thing in Foundation custody, but that would be a lie. See you in the next brief. Until then, try to stay alive.